This is J.B. Askew. I'm a private practice pathologist in Houston, Texas. Today I wanted to talk to you about another uh, way to use the RTIS for fine needle uh, aspiration cytopathology. Uh, the RTIS is a short uh, version for real-time telepathology imaging system. Uh, this is an example, kind of a cartoon, of what happens uh, between the fine needle aspiration and the pathology lab. And typically the interventional uh, radiologists that do the fine needle aspirations are in kind of the premium space in the hospital. And uh, it's uh, demonstrated here. Um, often the pathologist is in some remote location, uh, sometimes in the basement. Uh, and um, uh, even though this sounds a little bit like sour grapes, there's a certain amount of truth to it. So the uh, uh, radiologist does the fine needle aspiration, and the tech then has to uh, carry the slide over to the pathology lab for the pathologist to uh, check for adequacy. Um, and say that uh, it's not an adequate smear, um, after he's looked at it. Then the tech has to get back over to the radiologist who uh, doesn't like to wait uh, on pathology and uh, have another uh, uh, specimen drawn and smears made. Uh, here's where the RTIS really saves time. This is a picture of uh, me in my office and, um, and demonstrate to you uh, a way to save time. So real-time telepathology imaging system, uh, HD streaming of the FNA slides, incredible cytologic detail as soon as the slide is prepared. No slide scanning is involved whatsoever. As soon as, a, uh, as soon as the tech can look at the slide, she can transmit the image to the pathologist in a remote site. So the tech prepares the slide and sends 19 20 by 1080 video images to the pathologist. These are live images uh, with streaming video. No time is wasted walking the slides. This maximizes the efficiency for all professionals. So let's look then at um, some fine needle cytology uh, images um, now under the microscope. We are actually looking at an FNA of an axillary lymph node taken from a woman with known uh, breast cancer. Now, what we uh, are looking at then is uh, tumor cells in this smear, and we can focus up and down on them as we move around. What you'll notice is that like pathologists like to do, uh, this uh, is easily done with this live transmission because we can look at this three-dimensional uh, preparation of cells. If we want to move, we can easily uh, ask the tech to do that at the remote location and look at the detail of these malignant cells. And uh, slight up and down focusing of the microscope is transmitted uh, live to the pathologist at the remote site. As you notice, most of these cells on this smear are malignant, and you can uh, certainly appreciate the detail of every cell as we scan around and uh, look at the malignancy. We'll go to another part of the slide where we can uh, see a single layer of cells and look at the uh, detail um, on this uh, large screen video. You cannot imagine how beautiful this is until you've seen it uh, on a 42 inch HD uh, monitor. Now let's do something else here for a minute. Let's uh, find another group of cells that we want to look at and um, we can scan it at lower power 
and um, then what we're going to do actually is uh, uh, white balance for higher power. Find that group again. This is all live. This would be the same thing you would be doing uh, as you're reviewing the case. Now we're up to 40 uh, X and look at the detail of these slides on the scope. And again, the pathologist likes to look at this at various uh, uh, movement of the uh, objective. But look at the detail of these malignant cells. We can move around a little. and see uh, more. This is spectacular 40x um, cytopathology and uh, something that uh, all pathologists uh, should uh, appreciate. Well, I just couldn't resist. I wanted to show the 40x uh, images of this same uh, metastatic breast cancer. And as you notice, we're focusing up and down through this cellular group. I uh, uh, like to do to examine all of the uh, nuclei uh, when the cells are clustered together. But this is 40x, and the reason you can see this uh, kind of up and down focusing is because we're looking at this uh, with HD streaming video. Just another example of how great the RTIS system is for uh, cytology, um, not only determining if the specimen is adequate, but look at these incredible images for making the uh, diagnosis. So in conclusion, you've seen some fantastic FNA cytopathology images. This can be transmitted anywhere uh, in your building. Uh, to another building and for that matter anywhere in the world. For the cytopathologist, some of these images that I showed uh, you today should make your heart skip um, or maybe have an extra systole. Uh, this is a fantastic system and it's available from Rob Meyer at Meyer Instruments in Houston, Texas.